few things are more unsettling than missing people. According to the National Missing and Identified Persons database, more than 600,000 persons of all ages go missing every year. They vanish into thin air, leaving few or no pebbles behind for the authorities to piece together. In a world that is so interconnected, it can be hard to wrap your head around the fact that some people can completely blip out of the scene at any given moment. The irony in Linda Ortega's case was clear to everyone when news of her disappearance reached major media organisations. In September of 2012, Linda had gone for a walk with her brother in her local woods in the Ozarks, a mountain range just north of Arkansas, with this afternoon activity in the aid of learning survival techniques. Her brother Eddie was an expert in this area, but his sister Linda not so much, so there was a lot of concern when Linda became separated from her brother. Walking through the forest, the pair entered a part of it that Eddie suddenly found unfamiliar, despite dozens of excursions there. With Linda beside him, he looked up through the trees and hoping to find some degree of positioning from the mountains around them. When he looked beside him again, Linda was gone. A search party was sent into the forest to find her, but with winter temperatures beginning to set in, and having left with barely any supplies at all, hope was fading fast for the inexperienced 53-year-old lost alone in the forest. She was to re-emerge almost a week later, dazed and confused, but saying how glad she was that the forest had released her. This disorientation did not go unnoticed, and Chief Deputy of the local region, Dwayne Pierce, said that when she came out of the forest she wasn't quite normal. Linda had managed to use some of the tips that her brother had told her before they got separated, surviving on berries, but sleeping on the cold frozen ground as she wandered through the maze of towering trees, but she maintained that she was not alone through this ordeal. Dark figures in the forest appeared at dusk, silhouettes that moved through the trees, but no matter how much she screamed, they couldn't hear her, they just constantly watched. Needless to say, she was relieved to step out of the forest alive. It's not often that someone goes missing in areas like this and lives to tell the tale. Often Tom's people who vanish in areas like this are never found, leaving loved ones with questions. Oddly enough, Seeing mysterious figures isn't out of the ordinary. Known as the Missing 411, there appears to be a substantial number of missing person cases relating to the disappearances of individuals from national parks. In fact, many of these missing 411 cases are believed to not be investigated too deeply, as some form of supernatural or paranormal cover-up takes place in these undisturbed locations. 39-year-old Dr. James McGrogan visited the ski resort of the small town of Vale, located at the base of the Vile Mountain within the White River National Forest, for a weekend getaway vacation trip with three of his other friends. It was on Friday the 14th of March that Dr. James McGrogan would go missing for a time span of around two weeks, before his body was recovered on the 3rd of April by a group of young skiers. According to Dr. James McGrogan's friends, the group went hiking up the Vile Mountain, taking the nine-mile hike to the Eastman Hunt at around 8.30 in the morning. After a couple of hours at around 10 in the morning, the group took a short break at the side of the trail to catch their breath and relax. It was at this point that Dr. James McGrogan told his friends that he would hike up alone and would meet them all at the Eastman Hut when they were finished relaxing. Several hours later, when the group made it to the Eisman Hunt, they noticed that Dr. James McGrogan was nowhere to be found, with a search and rescue team spending the next two weeks trying to find him, and claiming to have covered a more than 18 square mile area surrounding the location. The body of Dr. James McGrogan would eventually be found by a group of skiers nearly four miles away from the Vale Winter Trail, near the Booth Falls area. When experts got the body, they noticed that Dr. James McGregor was not wearing his coat, gloves or boots. When searching through his materials, the team found that he had been fully equipped in the event of being lost, 
such as a working cell phone in his backpack in an area with working cellular reception, a large pack of food, water and extra battery for his cell phone, basic medical supplies, an avalanche beacon, a working GPS and an extra set of warm clothing. When an autopsy was performed to uncover the cause of his passing, the details came back showing that Dr. James McGregor was suffering from multiple injuries, including severe head trauma while wearing his helmet, trauma to the left side of his chest, and a completely broken femur. The cause of his passing was immediately ruled as an accident, and no further investigation was taken to explain the strange injuries, the vast amount of distance covered, or the fact that Dr. James McGregor had failed to use any of his safety tools that could have easily helped him at any point during his journey. Unfortunately, many of the rescuers would go on to claim that there was nothing unusual with the finding of Dr. James McGregor, claiming that he had crossed over four and a half miles in a straight line, crossing over mountains and ridges without any climbing gear, only to fall off another mountain and accrue the injuries in different places all over his body, without shoes and while still wearing his helmet. The complete disregard for uncovering the true nature of the passing of Dr. James McGregor has only fueled continued paranoia when it comes to the growing disappearances of national parks and the theories surrounding the missing 411. So what do you make of these disappearances? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.